Hey everyone, I'm Connor and welcome to my channel The Closet. If it's your first time here on my channel, I like to talk about all things luxury. So if that's something you're into, I'd love it if you could hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified when I bring out new videos. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the creations, we'll use that word, creations that have come recently to Louis Vuitton or on their way to Louis Vuitton. Um, I get asked a little bit, you know, what kind of bags you buy next? Have you seen this from Louis Vuitton? Have you seen that from Louis Vuitton? Yeah, girl, I've seen it. You know, walked on by. So, <laughs> let's get right into it. Okay, so one of the first bags that's recently entered the Louis Vuitton space is the new Pochette Matisse East West. Now, when I first saw this bag come about, I think it was Foxy LV. Um, and if you don't know who Foxy LV is, follow her on Instagram. Girl, she is like the LV whisperer. She knows info before sales associates know info and she's got photos of up and coming stuff. So I'll link her Instagram account down below. But basically on Foxy's account, um, I saw her share this image of the new Pachette Matisse. And when I first saw it, I thought this bag was going to be very East West. Like if you've seen the Lady Dior East West and some other renditions or like the Petite Mal east west they're very like they're disproportionately horizontal compared to the other version of the back if that makes any sense so this pochette matisse version i actually saw it in person when i went to um the sydney boutique 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 um with meredith and dale a few weeks back in our sydney vlog which i will also link above if you have not seen um and i was actually quite surprised about how it looked it actually looks very it looks a lot better in person than it does in photos. It's very compact. Um, it's not so, you know, horizontally. Um, and I really did like it. Things to note though, is the strap is not the same kind of strap as on the traditional Pochette Matisse. It's the telescopic um, clip closure strap where you can extend it a little bit, but you can't get the full drop like you would on the, the normal Pochette Matisse. So, um, you know, if you're somebody that wears bodies, wears bodies, if you're somebody that wears your Louis Vuitton bags at the lowest setting on a crossbody, um, you know, kind of thing, this sits a little bit higher, it might sit under the tit, or it might just sit above your waist, depending on how tall you are or depending on what's comfortable. So it's not a simple transition if you're going between the two bags. Alternatively, if you are a Pochette Matisse lover, you can just add, you know, your original Pochette Matisse strap onto this bag. But um, yeah, the strap is different. It does come with um, like a chunky gold chain that can clip on as well as the strap. So you can obviously have both straps, strap on, <laughs> both. you can have both strap-ons on. <laughs> Um, or you can just have the chain if you want to take it out for dinner or whatnot. Um, mix and match. It's also got the Vachetta top handle as well. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised by how this bag looks. Um, it, yeah, it's just, they've made it really well. Um, but the price point, girl, it's 4250 4, Australian dollars, which is a bit exy, especially when the traditional Pochette Matisse is about 3,700. So you're getting less of a bag, a uh, less versatile uh, strap, um, and you're trading that for a gold chunky chain. So there's that. But if you like the bag, you can make it work, then go for gold. But Definitely surprised if you're someone that was interested in this bag and thought, no, I'm not too sure about it. Definitely go and check it out in the store because it will surprise you a little bit, but not bad. I'll give it, I don't know, seven out of 10, eight out of 10. So that's good. Swiftly moving along to I, this collection. I don't even know what you'd call this collection, but basically it's I, it reminds me of like the moon landing or something. It is, let me just get the exact name of the collection. So you know what I'm talking about before I rip it to shreds. Okay. So it is the pillow collection. Okay. Right. So basically according to Louis Vuitton, it's made from padded recycled nylon with matte navy finish silver. So the bag I'll use as the example is the speedy bandolier 25. 
This is a hot fucking mess, okay? It's got like sausage monogram handles, um, a, a strap, which I could only tell you looks like a draft stopper, you know those snakes you put under the door, or um, copper insulation, if you've seen copper pipes and they put that padding, cylindrical padding around it, that's what it reminds me of. I don't know, I don't know what they're doing here. It's, it reminds me of also, in the early 2000s, what they thought the future was going to look like. Like that. <laughs> Very snowmobile. I don't know. I feel like it's just a hot mess. The only version of this kind of collection is the Palm Springs Mini. I think it's tolerable. But the price again, I mean like, okay, cool, we're getting recycled materials. Can we get a recycled price? So that's how I feel about that one. Just, yeah, swing and a miss swing and a miss. It's just too weird. So I don't know what they're doing, but it. Okay. Next we've got the, um, side trunk. Now this bag, um, I, I heard about it on Foxy LV's page again. Um, I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's basically, I guess what you would call a soft trunk. That's got a very exaggerated slouch in the middle of it. I'll obviously put photos up so you know what I'm talking about. Um, it appears to have a shoulder strap, which is detachable, and a crossbody strap, also detachable. And um, as seen on Foxy's um, page with this bag, they're doing it in the jacquard denim. So it's kind of like a grayish jacquard. Then they've got it in this tan um, empreinte leather, I guess you'd call it with the gold hardware. Then they've got it in a black empreinte. I think actually it's not empreinte. It's the seal leather that they, it's like a calf skin with the debossed, um, Louis Vuitton, um, sort of logo over it. And then it's a smooth finish. Um, and then, so they've got that with the palladium hardware. Then they've got a, um, what would you call this? Millisimi tan, so um, I'm assuming that's the type of leather, and then it's this smooth tan finish again with gold hardware. Then we've got it in the classic monogram with the aged vachetta, so the pre patinaed vachetta, um, which I think will be quite popular. I think this is LV's way maybe of saying we're bringing back the kind of more cumbersome, larger bags, but because it's in the softer structure, um, it's a bit more malleable, so you can kind of get away with it not being so bulky, maybe. Um, I like that it's, you know, a play on the classic kind of trunk look. I like that it's got the S-lock little flap thing on the side. Um, I mean, I wouldn't personally wear it, um, but I don't think it's ugly. I see what they're doing. So, I like this bag. I wouldn't buy it, but I'll give it like a 7 out of 10, because I can see what they're doing going with you and I mean if you're comparing it to the bloody astronaut bags that we saw last this is a step in the right direction <laughs> uh in terms of price point they the they all go they all vary in prices obviously the leather versions are more expensive um this is in US dollars so the classic monogram version 3800 so oh that'll be like 5,000, nearly 6,000 Australian dollars. Um, the Jacquard version, um, a little bit more, 3,950 US dollars. But then the, that Millisimi Tan, that's like 8,150 Australian dollars. So I think that leather, I, I saw this kind of leather in the store when I was with Meredith and they hadn't released these pieces yet. They were just preview. I'm not sure if I even can mention it. Um, but that leather is very similar to like Berenia leather from Hermes. So, and that's quite expensive because um, it's tanned over such a long period of time. So maybe that's why that's so expensive. But that would be like over 10,000 Australian dollars. No thanks. Okay, next up, we've got the book wallet on chain in monogram reverse. This is kind of fun. Like this is kind of like a what are those bags, menagerie bags sort of thing. Um, I can't see much kind of info on it, but I'm assuming the front of it is like a flap and then the sides is meant to look like book pages. Uh, but it's kind of fun. Like I wouldn't get it myself personally, but if someone gave it to me, I'd wear it. Um, the retail is 2,850 US dollars. So not crazy town. Um, and yeah, kind of cool, kind of a fun little bag. I'm sure Meredith will get that because it's a little collectible. Then moving on to the, um, what do we call them? The capucines. So they've done a few versions <laughs> of this bag. 
Now, obviously I'm not all up in the know-how with these collections, but I'm assuming this is some sort of artsy-fartsy kind of collection. The first one is the Kennedy Yanko Capucines. Whew. Now this one, a bit of a hot mess, okay? I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm obviously not in the art world at all, and um, there is a bit of, on Foxy's post for this, there's a bit of a blurb that talks about the artist and what, what the kind of inspiration is behind the bag. But, I mean, I don't even want to know what this is going to cost, but it's, it's different. Moving along, they've got this other an Annealy Bertrand. This is fun. Definitely an arty piece. I mean, um, I'm not sure how that would go wearing it, but it comes with like some attachments. So cool. I like the colors on it. I like the rainbow kind of esque nature to it. Not sure if it's, you're taking it to Coles to do the food shop kind of bag. So yeah, definitely, definitely out there. I think with Capucines though, these bags are designed, you know, they've got different collections and this specific collection um, is obviously an artistic rendition. So it's kind of in that league. It's to be expected that they're going to be very, very camp, <laughs> but they're cool. I kind of get it. It's like bits of art. So good on you. Okay, moving on to the men's collection. Now these pieces, I believe only launched maybe last week or the week before, and they're on the Louis Vuitton Australian website. Um, and it is the graffiti style on the monogram. Um, look, when I first saw it, I was like, what do you call that? Kind of grown on me, but yeah, not hideous. I wouldn't, I wouldn't personally go and buy it. They've got it in the two kind of color shades. So they've got the, what is this? Red, blue, and white kind of graffiti pattern. Um, and then they've got another one, which is like a gray, is it gray and green, maybe? Graffiti green, yeah. So it's like a greeny kind of color scheme. Kind of, I maybe get the red, blue one. Not too fast. I kind of like them both the same. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm just very underwhelmed at the moment um, by a lot of these collections. Um, and I've just, yeah, I don't know what to say. They've got this um, kind of graffiti pattern. They've got it in like a Brazza wallet. They've got it in the um, the Steamer wearable wallet, um, which is 3150 Australian dollars, which is a shit ton. Um, then they've got it in like a Keep All 50, some belts. Uh, Pochette Voyage. It's about it. I mean, it's very, I feel like it's like creative, but very tame at the same time. Not definitely not something I can see being exceptionally popular, but yeah, they generally do with the men's collection. I found they either go all out or it's very vanilla. So it is what it is, but there's that. Okay. Next in the men's collection, we also got the um, spring summer 23 monogram faded. Now this is kind of like a debossed leather sort of scenario. I mean, it's not, I like, I like the pieces, but I'm not overly crazy. The one piece that I really did love though, is the mini soft trunk in the blue. It's like a, I think they're calling it like a blue denim or something. I think with the silver hardware, the size of the bag and the kind of distressedy denim leather look, I really like this. Um, so I, I like it, but I still think it's a very, like just a very safe kind of collection. It's not, you know, groundbreaking, but it's not ugly and it's kind of cool. But I, yeah, I found with the men's collection, I guess, since Virgil, um, had, you know, sadly passed away that it's just been a bit, a bit of a lackluster. Um, but you know, not hideous, but not amazing. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you like these kind of videos and you think I should do more, please let me know down in the comments down below. I do get asked frequently if I can do, um, like, you know, the fashion show commentary, where I have, like, the fashion show playing on one side and I kind of talk about, you know, <laughs> what I think about the bags. I've been wanting to do one for so long, but I've never found a fashion show where there's enough variety for me to comment enough on it. So I am keeping an eye out and it'll be fun to do. But if you like these kinds of style of videos, please do let me know. And also maybe you own some of these bags and maybe you think you can convince me otherwise, but you know, <laughs> Louis Vuitton, what are you doing? <laughs> but thanks for watching. And I hope to see you all very soon in my next video.